what's the meaning of control data and status your interviewer is telling explain about control data and status right if he is going to tell you will have to explain there is no other way how will will you explain about control what is control in idoc so the answer over here is the meaning of control means very simple right something which is going to control right something which is going to have the command over right it with respect to what in what context this control is coming over here right in what context this control is coming over here okay in what context this control is coming over here so that context is nothing but the complete technical information about the idoc right like from where this idoc has been generated where it is going to what's the name of its partner profile right so all the information when this idoc was generated when it has reached okay so all such kind of technical information from where it has come where it has to go right such kind of addresses with respect to you know idoc is known as that con control information so the answer over here will have to tell something like this so control is the technical information which tells that which tells that over here first when the idoc was created to what is the source system from where idoc was generated right from where the <coughs> idoc was generated so source system means we will get the source partner profile right the third point over here is what is the target system where idoc need to go okay and apart from that last changed all such kind of you know tiny tiny information will be there let me share this screen and i will show you over there the complete uh, the control what what uh, what other things will be there in the control okay what other things will be there in the control so just let me know when you can see my screen over here yeah now i believe you are able to see my screen sap screen let's quickly log in into the system and there i will show you what the important points is going to be captured by the control right so now tell me in which transaction you can okay in which transaction you can look for the idoc you want to explore the idoc you want to see for the idoc right you want to look for the idoc you want to display the idoc what is the transaction to display the idoc what is the transaction to display the idoc so the answer over here is there are two transaction you can use we02 or we05 with the help of both you can you know with the help of both you can just go and display now there is uh, one more question generally comes in our mind that what's the difference between both qvg uh, we02 what is the difference between both w e02 because from both we can display right so what's the specific difference 
So this question generally comes in our mind. I don't know exactly this answer, but what is my assumption is that because both the transaction is going to give the uh, IDOC information, right? It's going to display the list of IDOC. So it looks like from the authorization perspective, it has been created the two IDOCs. I'm not very much sure about this answer. If you know, you can just share over here, okay? If you know this at the end of the class, feel free to share this so that we can just put it over here. Okay, fine. <clears throat> so now let's go and see. I will go to the WE02 slash and WE02. And here I want to look some IDOC. So there is no IDOC in this particular date. I'm just going to make 01 and let us see if we can have some IDOC, there is no IDOC. Delete this one and press F8. Yeah, so I got IDOC over here, right? Double click on any of the IDOC. This is the control record, double click over here. I believe you are able to see my screen, right? Good. So here we have this one, orders 05, orders, all this type information. It's also giving you the basic type, the message type, right? It's telling you about the partner, partner type, the port, partner number, partner type, right? All the technical information when SAP release, output mode, serialization, time of creation, last database update, right? Address, recipient address, logical address, recipient. So all such kind of information, it is there inside the control segment, right? So you got some idea what will be there in the control segment. So under the control segment, we'll be having the basic type message type information. We will see what is the basic type, what is the message type in detail, okay? Here, just understand, see here the partner number, the recipient information and the sender information. Who has sent this IDOC? Who has received this IDOC? Both the information is there, right? Technical information here, SAP release, all these things. So you got the idea now. You can tell some two or three points will be sufficient. Okay. Now the data records. In the data records, whatever the information you want to pass, that you can put in this segment. You can see these are the segments. So segments is like you know a record. You can see this in these segments you have the different fields, right? In this segment, you are having the different fields. So it is like a record. It is like a work area. Okay, segment is like a work area. You can see that, see here. So here data records contains the segment and segment contains the information. You can have the deep segment as well. You can see the segment inside the segment. This is another segment inside this segment. So you can have the deep segment, right? And a status record, what is the final status of this IDOC, right? So here, this is the status. So here, 56 is at status and it's telling ADA partner profile does not exist. So this is a error, what it is there in 56 red it is showing. So the meaning of a status you understood, you understood the meaning of control, you also understood what's the meaning of data.